So it is Saturday morning. Okay, it's a rainy Saturday morning here in Georgia. And the boys are gone. <laughs> Hubby is sleeping. And I woke up kind of late today. It's it's 12.08. It's 12.08 p.m. Y'all, me and Hubby stayed up literally till like 4 in the morning last night. Because we had no kids. And we just decided to have our own little party. You know, not, not necessarily to celebrate them being away. But we never really have... Um, much time for each other and so um well these days because our schedules just are just off like crazy like he works till 1 a.m i get off at 7 30 and so by the time he gets home like i'm in the bed knocking out and so um yeah we don't have um much time to spend during the week or during the working days with each other and so i took the day off early yesterday and was just chilling and so I was up and so I was able to kind of you know get with him and chill with him when he got off work and so we wound up staying up till about four maybe even five in the morning and so I'm just now waking up and I've got to let the pets out I know they're wondering like what in the world <laughs> where is my mom why hasn't she come let me out because usually that's the first thing I do in the mornings um so I'm kind of late doing that but um he will be getting up and getting ready to start work in about, what, 50 minutes? And so I had to get my butt up, have to let these pets out. I want to get him prepared for his work day. And so I want to get him some breakfast going. My kitchen is a wreck, you guys. Oh my gosh. I need to clean the kitchen. Usually the boys clean the kitchen for me. Um, so in the morning, you know, everything is clean. I can just start with breakfast. But they left early in the morning. Well, not early in the morning, but they left early yesterday. And so this all falls on me now. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting ready to do. And I need to clean my stove off today. I have a lot of things I want to get done today, y'all. And I just kind of wanted to take y'all with me. Um, I haven't done a vlog on this channel. Have I ever done a vlog on this channel? I can't remember if I've ever done a vlog on this channel. But we have a family channel. And I used to vlog over there. And I had come back for a hot minute, but then I kind of put it down again. Trying to run three channels, well, four channels really, is really, really hard, especially when you work full time. So something had to fall by the wayside, and that was that channel and my crafting channel. So I haven't done anything on either one of those channels for quite a while. Um, but as y'all know, I have the gardening channel, and so I try to keep updated, you know, keep folks updated on that channel. And then, of course, um, this channel here, the hair channel. And so I just want to start uh, branching out here on this channel just a little bit um, because, like I told y'all before, I'm more than just hair. I'm not my hair, and I'm more than just hair. Um, so, yeah, you guys, I'm going to just take you on what is like... Hopefully, I can take you off this weekend. This is my birthday weekend. My birthday's on Monday. And so I'm just going to share with you guys what I'll be doing this weekend I don't know if, to me, my life is kind of boring, <laughs> but you might find it interesting. I don't know. So if you like vlogs and you want to see what I'm going to be up to this weekend without kids, well, without my boys, they're not really kids anymore. They're 17 and about to be 21. So they're not little kids, but you know, nevertheless, they're still home with mom and dad. So with no kids in the house and just me and hubby, then keep watching my vlog and I hope y'all enjoy um so right now I'm going to let the pets out and then I'm going to get these this uh dish water started and then start breakfast and then I'll get everything cleaned up and yeah start the day
So, side note, it is raining cats and dogs <laughs> outside, um, pun intended. Yeah, yeah it, it was storming y'all this morning and I'm grateful because my garden needs it. I haven't been out there to water in a couple of days and it's showing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got to get a towel for the dog to let him back in because he'll be tracking water all throughout my house. So let me get a towel ready for him for when he comes back in and then I'm going to start it on this kitchen. so good all right y'all so hubby is up i hear him walking around upstairs so i really need to get a jump on this morning the pets are in now they are chilling they've eaten and gone to the bathroom and all that good stuff so now i can kind of usually what i would do is kind of chill in my pink room with my cup of tea watch a little bit of YouTube, and then get started on breakfast. That's like kind of like my quiet time in the morning. But since I overslept today, <laughs> um, I kind of got to just go ahead and get started with the day. So I will be um, cleaning up the kitchen, slash cooking breakfast, slash drinking my tea, all at the same time this, uh, this afternoon. Actually, I guess this is brunch now, right? But we're still having breakfast food because we're just waking up, and my husband loves to have breakfast when he wakes up in the morning so we're gonna have breakfast food um what's on the agenda for today um i definitely have to work on a couple of tumblers i'm working on two tumblers for my sons um kind of a late birthday present and then a birthday present because one's birthday was in june <laughs> and then the other uh son's birthday is july 21st july 20th excuse me um my birthday is monday the 11th so my son was like my birthday gift to me every year they're both gifts my first son was truly a birthday gift because his birthday is nine days after mine so there you go but anyway i'm making them um custom tumblers and then i'm also going to be sharing that uh thing that i've been talking to you guys about but not really talking to you guys about i'm gonna go ahead and kind of reveal that today and kind of show you guys what i've been working on it's still a work in progress so uh, don't get super excited <laughs> when you see it, but it will be coming uh, to a website here very, very soon. Um, we'll talk about that more when we get to that part, part in the video. But um, I definitely want to wash my hair this weekend. It's time. This is like the aftermath of the Alec Hay um, wash day that I had. Um, last week and so I want to wash my hair I got to film that I need to film an empties video I need to fold up some laundry I need to do some laundry and just some you know some housework and stuff and so that's a lot of stuff to do you know what I mean and I probably won't get it all done today but hopefully this weekend I will um, but I really want kind of want to get into my crafts I need to really start getting back into my crafts because um, I've just really put that on the back burner for a long time but my creative juices are starting to flow again and so I definitely want to take advantage of um, the ideas that I have in my head with the little bit of time that I have so let's get started on this day because he is about to come down any moment I'm sure so you see they're happy this guy's over here and look who came downstairs I'm gonna say hello to the people hello America mm -hmm. Kept me up five no, you kept me up until five in the morning. Yeah. Trying to get a man to tell us some stories. We were having a party. No kids. I got off early, had a little energy. I almost got off early too. Ha ha! <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, 
Nice. We should put this on film every day. I mean, it come like this every day. Hmm. All right, you guys, so here's my breakfast or brunch, right? It's brunch now, uh, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I've got some guac on my eggs. We got some bacon. My toast is really well toasted, but that's okay. I like it like that. Um, and some cheese grits. So, and I'm still trying to drink my tea. So, <laughs> so anyway, we're over here. We're getting ready to eat, chow down, and yeah, we'll see y'all back in a bit. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? So my husband has decided to take the day off. So now I'm listening to Godzilla and King Kong run through my house, basically. That's what you're hearing. So I guess he wants to celebrate my birthday weekend with me, just kind of be around me and all that kind of stuff. So, which is cool, you know? But I don't know how much of things I'm going to get done because usually I can get a lot of stuff done like when he's working and I'm just on my own, you know what I mean? And with him kind of hanging out and hanging around, he's going to want me to like be doing stuff with him, watching movies and just chilling and stuff like that. So we'll see how this day goes. He was saying he may go to work, but then again, he may not. So we'll see what happens. Right now, Godzilla and King Kong are running through my house. So it's a little while later and I finished folding up all of the clothes. Y'all, do y'all have a, a basket? Those of you that have like kids and stuff, um, or maybe you don't have kids, but do you have a basket in your laundry room just with one sock? You know, like, where does the other sock go? And so you have just the one sock and you have a ton of one sock, <laughs> one of the pair of socks. So we had this bin, like, for forever, y'all, for forever. And I sat it in my room and it's been actually sitting in here for a couple of months because the intention was to go through it, throw out all the old socks, all the holy socks and all of that. And then all the good socks. Um, you know keep them and try to find the match well I went through quite a few of them threw quite a few away and finally got it all you know down to it's still a, a nice pile of socks um, but now I have a project for everybody everybody has to go through their sock drawer and find either the match the matching pair of the sock or I'm throwing that sock out I'm throwing the sock out that I have on standby because it's been way too long and I am sick and tired of seeing these one sock this one sock pile in my laundry room just taking up space so anyway I went through all of those I folded up all the clothes in here I had like maybe four or five laundry bags in here in the room to fold up so I folded all of that up hubby went to work okay I did not think he was gonna go to work but he finished with uh, King Kong and Godzilla ripping and running through the house <laughs> and so he decided that he was gonna go to work so he's at work now and so I'm just here chilling so I'm taking a break from all this laundry stuff and um, trying to you know put some more work in on these tumblers for my boys uh, remember I mentioned that earlier that I wanted to kind of get this done before they get back and so I had started on them a few days ago and um, worked on them last night as well. But when I laid down, of course, the creative juices started flowing again and there were some things that I wanted to add to the cup. So right now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you what they both look like right now, but then when they're finished and this won't be in this vlog, so stay tuned or follow me on Instagram or even on Facebook if you're not following me already. Um, and I'll also maybe try to put it in the community tab when I'm done. But um, this is what they look like now. But I am going in on my uh, Cricut program. And I'm going to be cutting some more things out to add to the cups. So this is just like kind of the baseline right now. Now, 
one son loves light colors like the color white and red and he loves supreme i don't think this is a surprise to y'all because i think i've showed you his room at christmas time and he had this supreme christmas tree okay that's my youngest son he is into what's called cause k-a-w-s and um it's like hype beast stuff so yeah he's hype beast so i'm making him a hype beast cup Okay, custom height beast cup. And so this is what it's looking like so far. His is white. Okay. And these are the characters um, from Kaz and the different little things. Okay. So this is what his cup is looking like. Okay. And then on the bottom, we have his, um, his handle, what he goes by on Instagram and social media. Okay. So that's his cup, but again, I'm going to be adding stuff, like I'm going to add something here for him, and maybe somewhere else on the cup, I'm not sure just yet, but that's his. And then my eldest son loves Kingdom Hearts. Now, if you're into video games at all, or if you have a kid that's into video games, maybe you know about this um, game, but this is a game that I introduced to my son back when he was about four years old, I want to say, and he absolutely fell in love with the game and he's loved it ever since. Okay. And it's called Kingdom Hearts. Um, Mickey and friends are in it as well as the main character. His name is Sora and they just go on these adventures and all this kind of stuff, but he absolutely loves it and loves it to this day. So this is his cup and his handle is black jacks he does have a channel here on youtube so if you're a gamer or maybe you have a a kid or you know a teenager or a young adult that's into gaming check his channel out i will link it down in the um, description box below so you can check him out he's growing on youtube he's just starting so he's like trying to grow his channel so y'all check him out okay check him out give him a view or two um his videos are funny but they're gaming videos but they're funny but anyway this is his cup and I'm doing a Kingdom Hearts theme for him okay and this one in particular is where I had the most inspiration to add some stuff on here and then on the bottom I just put the heart with the crown um, like I said if you know about Kingdom Hearts then you know about all of this stuff um, yeah, so, but this is the cup that I had the most inspiration for because I myself also like Kingdom Hearts, even though I don't play it. Um, I started to play it when it first came out, um, but then, you know, as a mom, got busy and stuff like that, and so I introduced it to him and he took it over. And so I love to watch him play, I love to, you know, talk to him about it and stuff like that, and I love the characters. So to this day, I'll watch him play or, you know, I kind of know little things about Kingdom Hearts, so... Um, it's one of my favorites too so um, yeah but this is his cup and basically all these are just stickers that I ordered from Amazon for both cups okay normally I would use vinyl okay this is vinyl and I, I would just cut different um, things out using vinyl I also use glitter on some cups um, and I can show y'all some of that later but these are all handmade by me when the cups um, when I buy them they're silver and so I hand, you know, I hand spray paint them. Um, I coat them with epoxy, and I design them myself. So, um, and if you're interested in getting a cup, just hit me up. You can hit me up on social media, um, or my email is down below. Feel free to, feel free to get in touch with me if you're interested in a cup. Um, also, check out my Instagram for some other design inspo. So. But yeah, right now I'm getting ready to cut some more stuff out on the Cricut for the cups and I'm going to apply them and yeah, y'all will see the finished result when the cups are all done. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and do this because I don't want to be all day doing this either. I still want to get to my other craft um, and I still need to clean the stove off in the kitchen. I was kind of like letting it um, cool off, you know, after eating this morning. So I washed the dishes and everything and cleaned up, but I didn't um, clean off the stove. So got to get back down to do that. And then I think I want to clean out my closet today. I don't know if I said that already. 
I want to clean out my closet because it is just a hot mess. I cannot hardly walk in there. And I've got to put the laundry away now. Y'all can probably see some of it up there on the bed. But yeah, i still got a lot of work to do today. But it's still early in the day. And the sun finally came out. So, yeah. So it's later in the evening, it's almost, what, almost nine o'clock. It's about quarter, like 20 minutes to nine. And I just got back from getting some pizza. I went to this place called Oz Pizza. Take a look, okay. I got what's called the Hercules. Okay, it's like a meat lovers type of pizza with like extra cheese. Gotta love extra cheese. And I got a couple of sodas. We're not supposed to be drinking that, but what goes better with pizza but a soda? So that's gonna be our dinner for tonight. And I think I'm pretty much gonna be winding down. I think I've done enough for the day. Um, just been kind of leisurely doing stuff today, just enjoying my quiet time, you know, the little, the quiet time that I had because you know Godzilla and King Kong were like running through my house at one point but for the rest of the day it's been pretty quiet and chill um, no kids blasting music and stuff so it's been a chill day I was able to do the things that I wanted to do and some of the things that I needed to do I did go ahead and clean my stove y'all the stove was crazy okay nobody cleans the stove but me of course mom's job right Anyway, I cleaned the stove, so I'm ready for, you know, the, the new week ahead. And, yeah, me and hubby are just going to dig into this pizza. And I'm going to go probably sit down and watch some YouTube and maybe catch a couple movies or some series on Netflix or something like that. And pretty much wind it down. Um, I did start glazing those cups, so they are on the spinner. But, again, they won't be ready for, like, a few days. So, um yeah hopefully i'll pick the camera back up tomorrow and um if i do pick it back up tonight then y'all will see me again later tonight but um i think that's gonna be it for me tonight so i'm feeling kind of lazy <laughs> all right hey you guys so it's sunday and excuse the way i look because we're just literally chilling like i woke up late again <laughs> didn't really get dressed or anything but i'm still kind of doing like laundry here and there and we've been watching like discovery channel all morning we're watching like naked and afraid right now just kind of chilling right um it's getting closer to my birthday my birthday's tomorrow um we're supposed to be going out to dinner this evening so we made a reservation for six o'clock this afternoon it's about two o'clock right now so we have some time to like get ready and do some other things y'all I have like laundry everywhere <laughs> laundry here that has to be folded and just put away and I have more laundry in the room that I need to do and um, yeah but I did get a lot of stuff done yesterday I'm super excited about that um, but a package just came hubby bought me something I think I know what it is but I'm not sure what it looks like okay and it's for my pink room but um it just arrived so I'm gonna go and open it so like I said excuse us because we're just in our robes in chill mode like I, I'm gonna get ready to wash my hair in a few before we go out and yeah so let's go downstairs and see what this surprise package is I just put them away yeah, they were napping. Nap time. Look at this dude. Laying out. It is not time to get up. Well, he's out now. You know he's going to want to get in the box. All right, y'all. Here is the box. So, are you going to record for me? Are you helping? Yes. Huh? Yes. Why? Because I just sat down.
hammer. Nice. That's a hammer. That's a hammer. That's a hammer. That's a pink one. Well, I think it has a box. <clears throat> You know, shouldn't he be helping me, Vlog? Nope. He don't even want to help me get the daggone thing out. I want the daggone thing. So what? Still going out to eat. So what? Help me get it out the box. I put you in nutrients so you can be healthy. Yeah, but I'm not healthy. I'm not healthy. Yeah, but 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 I'm not healthy. So he bought me an ottoman for my pink room because it's a hot mess right now, okay? There's no table space. There's nothing, everything's on my table, stuff is everywhere and I need to be able to kind of like hide stuff sometimes or just put stuff away. So yeah, I asked for this and he got it for me. It matches my chair and everything perfectly. And so we'll be setting that up um, today. <laughs> It has legs, silver legs, so it matches everything. So I'm gonna take the table down and replace it with this for now. And I guess when we move eventually, you know, I'll put the table back up in the new room, but this is very much needed. So thank you, husband. Hey, anytime. Thank you very much. So, all right, we're gonna set it up and I'm gonna go recharge my battery because it's dying. That may help her wanna clean her room. And uh, I'll see y'all <laughs> later. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Let's keep our fingers close. Yeah, my room is a hot mess, y'all. So we're on our way to dinner. We're running late. Usual Smith fashion, right? <laughs> but we'll get there. So we'll show you what it looks like. What'd you say? No matter what time we start to get ready, always late. Yeah. But then I gotta do a thousand and five on the highway. Don't make reservations with the Smith family. They'll never keep their reservations. You know that? Mom will, but hey. It take a long time to get all of this beautiful. That's why I got it. Anyway. We'll see y'all when we get there.
Y'all, this shrimp is humongous. I already took a bite out of this thing. Look how big it is. And it is so good. If y'all never been to Marietta Fish Market, when you come to Georgia, you need to come here. The oysters were off the chain. Gone, okay? I could eat the whole show if I could. All right? And then lick that plate clean. That sauce was amazing. Wasn't it good? Great. It's good. This is good too. This is called like the bang bang shrimp and calamari combo. So, so good, y'all. So good. So, our food has arrived, y'all. Look. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So good, y'all. Everything was delicious. I have so much to take home, though, because we couldn't finish it all. Not even my cake, but the cake is delicious, too. So we'll see y'all when we get back to the house. Okay. Hold on. That's the one. That's the only cheesecake I see. Strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, that's the one. It's probably cut off of that one back there. How do you get out? You ready? Yep, let's go. It's my birthday. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Monday the 11th, and it's, today's my birthday. And me and hubby are headed out again. Um, Same clothes. Yeah, he didn't want to bother with getting anything out, but whatever. <laughs> it's all good. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to go do a little bit of birthday shopping. See what I can find out here I really just want to get some like dresses to wear around the house for the summertime not house dresses but dresses I can wear as house dresses cute you know so we're gonna go look for that and see what else I can find just spend the day the afternoon out and I'm gonna come back and do what I want to do and tomorrow is back to the grind for me I got one more day off. <laughs> Lucky him. So yeah, y'all, we'll head out. Um, hopefully, I can take y'all to a couple of stores, and uh, let's see what goes on for today. The boys are on the way home. I spoke to them.
couple hours ago, so they're on Damn. their way home. We killed all that gas yesterday. Yeah, we did. Damn. There wasn't much in there. Um, so yeah, they'll be home a little later today and we'll see them. And yeah, that's about it. So we'll see y'all in a bit. You special and she reckless. And babe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of you. She bad, but I don't buy. She a gunshot that blew my mind. No distance, I come by my side. Everything is green over here. Oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about. No, I got your back all the way. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of you. <laughs> what is it? What is it called? Sunglasses. It's sunglasses. For your boobs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't ask me. I have no idea. It's a, a self adhesive front closure. So, you try that. You wouldn't come thing would be looking like slick Patch it on one eye. Well, they got. Well, I don't know. So we made it back home. We are tired and hungry. We did not eat before we left and now we are starving. I have a headache and so I'm going to heat up some of my leftovers and then um, I'm going to show y'all what all I got from our outing this afternoon, shopping. Um, y'all I wound up at Walmart, okay, Target really didn't have anything. But I wound up at Walmart, but I got a few things. I'm going to show y'all. Um, I think my boys are pulling up. No, not yet. But they're on their way. They're definitely on their way. They're back in town. And I think my eldest son is going to pick me up a cake or something like that. Um, Smash is over there knocked out sleeping. I don't know what he's going to eat because he ate his food last night, his leftovers. So I'm going to sit over here in my room and eat my leftovers and enjoy that. And then we'll get into this haul and then the rest of the evening. All right. I'll see y'all in a bit. So the boys are back. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hi to the vlog. Back from their trip. You have fun? I'm from Florida. You ain't going to Florida. Where'd you go? We went to uh, Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Mm-hmm. That was fun. <laughs> I'm just tired. 
Yeah, they tired now. <laughs> Just wanted y'all to see them real quick because they probably going to go to bed and knock out. So, but we're going to get ready to do this haul real quick. Then I need to film an empties video for y'all. I really need to get that done and underway. Um, I was not able to edit this weekend. So I don't know that there'll be a video going up this week, the week of my birthday. Probably not. Um, but I'll get it figured out. So let me get this set up for the haul video. And um, yeah, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so let's get into this haul. Y'all remember we stopped by TJ Maxx and I didn't find anything for myself in TJ Maxx. But I did get something for the fur babies. Shout out to YOLO Naturally for showing this in her video. I think she got hers from Ross. But I got mine from TJ Maxx and that is the pet cooling mat. And so these were $10 in TJ Maxx and I got two of them now even though I have both boy pets I did get one pink one because y'all know my room is pink and sometimes they like to hang out in my pink room with me and so just to kind of match the decor I got a pink one so we got two of them they each got their own um, so they're not fighting over it because they just y'all know they like kids <laughs> But I'm um, about to open this for them, see how they enjoy these. And we'll see how it goes. And they're reversible, so I like that. Reversible and scratch resistant. You can use it indoor and outdoor. It's water resistant, self cooling technology, and reversible. So let's, let's open one up and see what it looks like. Oh, this thing is small. Mm. <laughs> that was gonna be bigger than this but that's what it looks like good enough for one pet so you know let's put the other one down to see how they like it here's the red one That's that. And then y'all know I was trying to go to like Target and where else did I go? I think I was just up in CJ Maxx too, but I couldn't find anything that I really liked just to kind of be lounging around. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to Walmart and I'm just gonna get some things. Hopefully, you know, they'll be on clearance or whatever. And lo and behold, they were. Everything I got was on clearance, except for one thing. So I got all of these out of steel and they're cute. So first I got this shirt. Super cute shirt. Man, that cat too big for them things. He only gonna be able to get his belly on that thing. And I got this t-shirt dress. Just a long t-shirt dress. So this like I could just throw this on, you know, wear it around the house. I got a couple more dresses. I think these are so cute. Just to kind of throw on, you know. Okay, I got one in like that purple color, and then I got one in black and white. Same thing. So, you know, just wear them around the house. Okay, so next I got some, a skirt. This is cute. A little skirt and 
Um, how many skirts? Were they all skirts or were they? Sh no, these are shorts. Oh, y'all, and it's elastic in the waist. Got some shorts. And I got another pair in the gray. Oh no, this is a skirt. So we got a skirt and we got shorts. I thought these were shorts. Skirts? Well, the, the pink is shorts and then the gray is a skirt. I don't know why I thought that was shorts too. All right, then I had to get me an unmentionable, y'all. I'm not showing that on camera. And then I got this cute shirt too. Hubby picked this one out. I picked all of that out. You did not pick it all out. This is a cute shirt with the back out and the chain at the neck. So super cute. And that's it. Got some stuff for the house, right? Um, what else? I need to show y'all what the boys got me for my birthday. So, hold on real quick. Let me get that. So, my youngest son got me a gift card to Sephora. He knows what I like. He likes to shop in Sephora, too. But, um, yeah, he got me this. And then my eldest son, he's into mugs these days. And so, he got me this super cute mug. It's a super mom. It has a crown. Comes with a spoon. This lid. Super cute. And I think he's getting me something else. So I have to kind of wait on that. But these are super cute. Isn't that thoughtful? He knows I love tea. So my boys know. They know mom. And they know what I like. So yeah. Um, so that's it for the haul, you guys. I know that was quick. But I didn't do much damage. Like I said, I just really wanted a couple of dresses to wear around the house. Um, your girl has gained some weight, so I needed a couple of bottoms as well. Because I have um, some nice tops, but I don't have any bottoms. So yeah, that's that. Um, so now I think I'm going to go ahead and make them something to eat. You know, they had that long trip back home, and so I know they're tired and hungry. So I'm going to get ready to make that for them. Probably just some penne pasta and I'm gonna also be making a quiche so I'll probably take y'all in the kitchen and show y'all that I want to get my hands on one of my projects one or two of my projects still well I still have time today unfortunately I didn't get to go into the garden this time but I'll save that for another vlog um oh yeah you know what I forgot almost forgot I'll be sitting right there I would have remembered I would have remembered. But um, remember the the ottoman hubby bought me? We finally got that put together. So I'm going to show y'all what that looks like. Let me put this stuff away. And I'll show y'all real quick. So here is the ottoman. I still have to move the table out. i got to get it cleared out of here. But this is the ottoman. It doesn't matter. It can be how I want it to be. My husband is mad because I put it facing this way. And the hinges are on the other side. Facing that way. Okay. So. But when I come and get something out of here, I'm going to sit here and lift it up. Yeah, but me looking in there, I see these two hinges. Come on. See, she just got that ottoman. Shouldn't the hinges oh, be on the other side? Or hinges. Oh, these? Yeah. I can't you see them when you walk up there? They should be on the other side. But when I go in here, I'm sitting here to get my stuff out of here. No worries, there's no wrong answer, just not the answer that it is. Not because huh? you can really go both ways. Right. Figure out what's the most reasonable way. Anyway, anyway we'll turn it around and see how it looks the other way. 
and see if I want to keep it this way or if I want to keep it the other way. No. I think we should stay like that. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> because when she's sitting there. So I'm back, y'all. And um, we're about to start winding this um, vlog down. But before we do, or before I do, um, I'm gonna show y'all real quick how to make, well, how I make um, my quiche. My dad taught me how to make this when I was a little girl. And I don't make it all the time. Like, it's not a frequent thing that we have, but every now and again, I'll get a taste for it. And it's like good as a side dish. It's good as like a little lunch, you know, a quick lunch, which is what I plan to use it for this week. Um, and things like that so um, you can make it with crust or you can make it crustless I like mine with crust because I like crust like I like pizza crust and I like crust so I'm making mine with a pie crust today and I'll show you how to do that um, I'm also in the getting ready to cook dinner for the guys they all fell asleep all of them are asleep right now <laughs> so and I'll put we put the pets away everybody's asleep but me these are my last few hours um well somebody's awake i think the cat's awake but um these are my last few hours of light that i have um on my birthday and for the end of my birthday weekend um i do go back to work tomorrow so it's back to the grind after today so i want to kind of get this done while it's still somewhat early i mean 7 30 7 40 is still kind of late I can see the time. Oh no. See the time there? It's still a little late, but it's still early for me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make them a pen, uh, penne pasta um, for dinner so that they'll have. That'll probably last us for maybe two days, maybe three. Maybe three. It depends on how hungry they are. They've been to water parks and all that kind of stuff. So, I anticipate that they're going to be ravenous when they wake up. But I want them to have a nice, you know, cooked meal, home cooked meal um, when they do wake up. And hubby's been so good to me as well this weekend. I didn't cook all weekend. I've made breakfast, but that was about it. Um, we've been eating out all weekend. And so it's time to now have a home cooked meal. So that's what I'm going to do. But um, let's get to this quiche because this is not going to take me but a minute. I'm going to pop that in the oven. And then I'm going to get started on their penne pasta. So, yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and set my oven to 375. Okay, we've got it set to 375, and then this is everything you're gonna need. So, you're gonna need some seasonings, okay? I literally put this on everything. This kicking chicken, it's good on literally everything. We got some garlic powder. We've got some onion powder, some black pepper, mozzarella cheese, extra sharp cheese. Now, you can use the cheese of your choice, but I do recommend using um, mozzarella or a mozzarella blend and whatever other cheese you like. We need some garlic. I'm using half of a red onion. Um, it was just in the refrigerator already chopped in half, so I just went ahead and diced that. I'm going to use that. The pie crust. I'm going to need... A bag of spinach you can use fresh spinach too if you like but I tend to use the frozen spinach and you're gonna need about four to five eggs probably four but I just took one out just in case so um, let's get this all started we want to start by basically sauteing oh the other thing you're gonna need is bacon <laughs> you're gonna need bacon or you're gonna need like um, ham chunks okay I have some bacon ready um, bacon or ham chunks or whatever kind of like little meat that you like you can put whatever you want in this guys you can literally make this your own for real and you don't just have to do a spinach um, quiche you can do another kind of veggie quiche broccoli whatever whatever you want okay but we tend to do spinach quiche so this is everything you need disregard that stuff there that's for the penne pasta <laughs> disregard that so this is everything that I'm going to be putting in my quiche tonight. So basically I'm going to start off sauteing my um, onions and my garlic real quick. And then pretty much everything else will be tossed in a bowl, mixed up, and then we'll throw it into the pie crust. So let's get started. 
Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start off with um, the small pan that I have here. And I'm just gonna use the bacon grease from the bacon, you know, the drippings. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that onto the pan. Okay, and once that gets nice and warm, we're gonna just go ahead and add our onions. Okay. And we're just gonna saute up those onions. And you don't wanna cook them all the way, okay? You just wanna get them just a little bit soft. And then I'm gonna add in about this much of the garlic. I'd say that's like maybe a tablespoon of garlic. And I'm just gonna add that in and get that nice and fragrant and then we're just going to set it to the side after that okay so now that we've got the onions um, already sauteed and the garlic, we're gonna go ahead and start um, building our quiche. So you wanna take your um, your, ba your bacon pie dish and you wanna spray it with some nonstick spray. I'm using this here. Okay. And then you just wanna roll out your pie crust. And this gets you know, sometimes it gets stuck, it's refrigerated, and I let it set out to uh, thaw out because I had it in the freezer. No worries, this is just a really quick thing. Don't worry if it breaks, it's okay. Okay, we're not chefs over here, but you know, I'm just a mom making food for her family, and it does not have to be pretty. Okay, it just needs to taste good. <laughs> so don't worry if your pie crust breaks and all of that stuff or whatever okay all right and you can get definitely get the pre-made pie crust where it's already in the pan i just usually have pie crust you know in my freezer so no worry about that so now that that's done we're going to set that to the side and we're going to start working on the actual quiche part of the deal so i have i um, have my eggs here okay and I'm gonna start off with four to make sure that that's enough. All right, and I'm just gonna whisk these eggs. Now, to the eggs, I'm gonna start adding the spinach. Okay, and I'm just gonna add this whole bag of spinach, because y'all know spinach cooks down. Boom, okay. Now we're just gonna mix that up. Okay, and now we're just gonna add in our onion and garlic. And now we're gonna start adding in our seasonings. So I'm gonna start add some onion powder. And season to your liking, guys. Yeah, I'm not using any measurements here. I'm just seasoning until my ancestors tell me to stop. Okay?
And we're just gonna just continue to mix that all up. Okay. And now we're just gonna start adding our cheese. I'm gonna add some mozzarella. And I'm gonna add some of the extra sharp. And then just fold all of that in. And I think I will go ahead and add that um, last egg. You want this to be kind of wet. So I will go ahead and add that last egg, but I'm gonna beat it before I add it in here since I'm adding it after the fact. Yeah, that's how you want it to be. See how it's like really wet? That's what you want it to look like. Now, for the second star of the show, in this quiche, we have our bacon. So I've already cut it up, as you can see. Just cut it up into chunks, and I'm just gonna add it in. You add as little or as much as you want, y'all. And we'll mix that up. This quiche is good to have for like breakfast. Like I said, you can have it as a brunch. You can have it as like a snack. You can have it as dinner if you'd like. Like if you're a light eater, you can just cut a slice of the quiche and have that. And I tend to do that. That's how I eat it. I don't really eat it with anything else. I just usually tend to have a slice of quiche and I'm good to go. All right, so that looks pretty well combined. So now the only thing left to do is to add it to our pie dish. So we got our pie dish here and we're just gonna add it in. Make sure you get all of it out of, of the bowl. We're not leaving any remnants behind. As much as you can anyway. All right, and then you're gonna smooth it out. And then it's all done. So now you just wanna pop this in the oven. I preset my oven to 375 and I'm gonna put it in for probably about 40 minutes or until done. And when it is all done, I'll take it out and show you guys the finished product. But that was super simple, super easy. I mean, when you're making breakfast one morning, you can just make some extra bacon, put it to the side, you know, save a little bit of the grease. And you know, chop up your onion, chop up your um, garlic if you're using fresh garlic. Get a bag of frozen spinach. I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all that I make meals and y'all think I be slaving in my kitchen, I, do, I don't slave in my kitchen, y'all. I really don't. Sometimes I do, it depends on what I wanna make and how I wanna make it. But most of the time, my stuff is like semi-homemade. Meaning, some stuff is already prepared for me and some stuff I have to kind of you know chop up or whatever, but I try to do uh, quick and simple, delicious meals for my family. It's the way to go. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven, and like I said, I'll be back to show y'all when it's done. 
Okay, and so the quiche is done, y'all. It's been about 40, 43 minutes that I had it in. I think next time I need to put the temperature up just a little bit, maybe to 400. I think I kind of forgot about that. But um, yeah, it is done and it is now resting. And I don't know if I'm gonna eat this tonight, but it's ready for the week for me to have. And I can't wait to, to try it. So let me know, you know, in the comments down below if you have ever made quiche um or are you gonna try my recipe here yeah and let me know let me know what y'all think i know in the previous like one of my videos from like last year i want to say it was a matter of fact it was the giveaway video that i did last year um y'all said y'all wanted to see me do more cooking in my videos and so as i do vlogs i'll try to incorporate some um some of, some of the recipes that I make here for my family. Uh, y'all let me know how y'all enjoy them and stuff like that. And if you want to, want me to continue to do them, I cook all the time. But like I said, I really try to do simple, simple meals. Sometimes, you know, I get old school <laughs> and I, um, I take my time and I'm cooking all day and stuff like that. Like I've done freezer meals before. I don't know if I've had that on this channel, but definitely over on my family channel, I've taken like a whole weekend and prepped for like a month's worth of food, like a month's worth of pre-cooked meals and, and semi um, pre-cooked meals. So um, y'all let me know if you're interested in, in seeing something like that, but you can definitely check it out over on my other channel, Smash Family Vlogs, to kind of see what I've done in the past. And um, I kind of stick to some of those recipes because the boys just love them. <laughs> the boys and my and my husband, they love them. You know, men, they love beef and cheese, okay, <laughs> and chicken. Anything like protein-based and like pastas, like lasagnas and stuff like that, they absolutely love it. And so I don't make everything like that, but I do know um, a few recipes that... Well, quite a few recipes that you can make beforehand and then this way like when you have busy nights um, you can just kind of pop things in the oven they're already pre-made you just kind of have to heat them up and while our dinner is ready in like 30 minutes and sometimes less so if you're interested in stuff like that let me know I'm here to share <laughs> um, yeah you guys it works for um, families and it works for individuals as well this is not just something for like a big family like we're only a family of four even though they eat like we're a family of six to seven sometimes um, and that's how I want I cook sometimes you can definitely definitely trim this down to suit you and your household okay even if it's just you and someone else two people one person three more whatever you can definitely um, you know make it work for you all right all right so before i go okay i've got the penne pasta in the oven it's just pretty much the cheese is just going to melt and warm everything through i'm going to leave that in for probably about 20 minutes and then it should be done but i think they're still sleeping no one has come downstairs the whole time i've been down here and it's already like nine o'clock so um i've just been kind of cleaning up the kitchen as i go right trying to not have any dishes done um and yeah getting ready to you know getting set up for my work week all right and everyone else is too but really quick y'all i want to share with y'all what i have been alluding to for the past i want to say maybe month now i've been kind of talking about like i'm going to be doing something i'm going to be starting something but not really sharing what it is well i'm going to go ahead and share it with y'all now um and i'm, I'm sure you're going to be excited to find out you know what I will be making in the future how it's gonna come along and this is probably gonna be a new business venture for me and I'm super super excited y'all I have to keep my hands busy my hands are always into something and I've always wanted to learn how to do this particular craft and so I'm diving straight in right I'm diving straight in but without further ado let me show y'all okay what I'm doing let me turn y'all around Ta-da! Okay, I am now making, this is my mold here, I'm now making wax melts, you guys, okay? I've got 
some fragrances here and I've got plenty plenty more because like I said when I jump into a craft I jump all the way in okay feet first all the way to my head I jump in it and I get all the things all the things <laughs> that I need and want to try and I just go for it and so um, yeah these are just some of the things that I've bought okay to make this happen all right some of this stuff I've had from my previous crafts like this mica powder these are all mica powders here all different colors okay I even have a candle um candle dye I have my uh my picture here We've got our thermometer here. Like, I've got everything, y'all. I've got everything. Here are some more molds because I'm getting ready to test out some fall fragrances. I've been um, trying to, you know, gather up a few fragrances because I would really like to launch this website in the fall. So we'll be starting off with fall fragrances. But, um, yeah, you guys, these are, like, mini donut um this is a mini donut silicone mold. Wait till y'all see what I'm going to make. Y'all just wait, okay? Some more supplies here, okay? Yeah, y'all. Let me show you um, what I've made so far because I have made a few things already. Just kind of testing waxes out and testing out some fragrances. I already have a few faves that I know that I'm going to be keeping, um, you know, for my collection of wax melts. And yeah, you guys, um, this is really big for me. This is something I've always wanted to learn how to do. I started off um, pouring resin and now I'm pouring wax. So let me show y'all a couple of my samples that I have so far. I'm still, like I said, still tweaking things, still trying to figure out ratios. Because candle, I'm not candle making, well candles also, but wax melts and candle making is definitely a science. Okay, here is one of the companies that I buy from it's called candle science and it's called candle science for a reason because it really is a science to making um, the perfect wax melts and candles and so here's another mold that I have um, these are like blueberry these are blueberry molds this is pumpkin molds okay but let me show y'all some of my samples All right, y'all, so these are some of my samples. Y'all can see I've been really busy, okay? And this is just a few because I've given some to my family to kind of test out as well to let me know how the throw is on, you know, the fragrances and stuff. Um, here are some, like, Fruit Loops. Y'all, I've been doing it up. So, I really, the candles... I haven't mastered the candles y'all can see they look really pretty like I can really create some stuff right but like I said there is definitely a science to burning can to making candles it's not just making something pretty and then sticking a wick in there there's a lot more to it than that and so I'm trying to really learn the science of making the perfect candle so I don't know that I will be launching with candles you guys I have to really figure it out before I, um, you know, introduce them to the world. But um, definitely I'm going to be making the melts. And so here are, um, here's one here. These are called snap bars. They kind of look like candy bars, okay? And this is actually called Enchanted. That's what I'm going to call this one. Um, these are like fruity fragrances here. I can't really remember what they are because they're not um, labeled. But um, these were like the first ones that I've ever made, okay? These um, flamingo ones. Then we have some that look like pastry, bunt cakes and stuff. We've got unicorns, seashells. I've got waffles. I'm still working on my color also. It's a science, y'all, like I said. So I'm trying to figure out the color, the perfect colors of things. Um and how much fragrance needs to go in each thing. Here is like a scoop of ice cream, okay. Here is another, like a scoop. It's a vanilla scoop with a chocolate bar in there. I've gotta get my chocolate color down just a little bit better. Um, 
birthday cake candle okay so um and this is like the fruit loop this was like the first candles that i've ever made was the fruit loop candle um i just kind of enhanced it this time though with the sparkles and the glitter um here's another one that i just kind of experimented with so yeah you guys um i'm actually in the process of burning one of my scoop candles here testing it out okay this is how it looks now because i burned it. It, it it turned out it was like this and then this is what it looks like now as i'm burning it but yeah you guys i'm super super excited about this okay these are like birthday cake and uh sugar cookie here's another one still trying to perfect my glitter as well like trying to figure out how I want the glitter to look on different you know snap bars and stuff like that so yes this is very very exciting um, really really enjoying pouring wax melts you guys let me know what you think about this venture do you think that you would be interested in trying my melts i mean i don't know you know i i like like i said i love to create stuff i have stuff everywhere like i make the tumblers like i showed y'all earlier you know I, I i i do a lot of stuff i do a lot of stuff with my hands and i cannot keep all of this stuff in my house like i just can't be making stuff and just keeping it and this whole wax melt thing is an expensive hobby so i don't want to just be making it to just be like giving it away and plus i need to keep perfecting and so i need opinions from others so y'all let me know would y'all be interested in um any of my wax melts like if i made a website would you take a look and maybe you know get a couple of things off the website y'all let me know um also have resin pieces that I've made um, I kind of stopped doing the resin for a little bit but I'm thinking about picking that back up as I'm now starting to go get back into tumblers um, and Lord only knows what else <laughs> my hands will pick up you know I, I crochet when I have time I really enjoy that it's very very um, comforting for me to be able to just kick back and make something out of yarn it's amazing and so, yeah, the wax melts is, like I said, the wax is something that I've always wanted to try. And so I'm just, you know, life is short. And I'm just like, all the things that I want to learn, I'm going to start learning how to do them. So, um, yeah, that's that. But um, I will hopefully be able to show y'all some more of my progress with the wax melts, you know, in the near future and some more upcoming vlogs. Y'all make sure you... Um, um, follow me on social media so you can also see because I tend to like post my creations and stuff um, on social media um, I have a craft channel but I haven't been active on it in over a year but um, yeah y'all can check out some of my resin work over there I want to start bringing some of this wax melt stuff over to the craft channel as well so yeah, your girl your girl's got ideas and your girl has plans so y'all let me know what you think um this is nothing to what i have up in here like these little things this was just the beginning what you saw just now i have a lot of ideas up here and all i have to do is just put them into play and make them and so like i said you're probably going to be really really wild about <laughs> what my little hands can make but um I'm super excited to share and my cat is going crazy so I'm gonna end the vlog here y'all I hope you all enjoyed it um, I certainly had a great weekend um, just chilling and sharing with you guys so yeah sending y'all love and light I appreciate y'all for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video bye guys What's it gonna take